Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Pisces who are watching. So if you have Pisces as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Pisces, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and officially begin, Pisces, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Also, Pisces, please keep in mind that any energy, feelings, emotions, actions that I do describe from your person, that could be how you feel, the roles could be reversed here. Just however this reading resonates for you, please only take what resonates out of it, Pisces. Alright, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with your energy, Pisces. Let's see what energy we have making its way towards you from this person. Can we please receive a few messages from my Pisces when it comes to this person and their energy? Alright, so we'll take this message. I'll read this as an extra as well. We have, I love that you have a mind of your own. You are a hidden treasure. All right, let's see what else we have going on for Pisces, please, when it comes to this person. How does this person truly feel about Pisces and what would they like to express to Pisces? Let's receive one more message for now. What else do we need to know, please, for my Pisces? All right, Pisces, so we have our first few messages to begin with. Let's go ahead and go over them one by one. First message that did come out is wait. All right, we also have, I can't believe you were once mine. I'd do anything to have you again. I'm the jealous type. You're exactly what I like. Everything finally makes sense now. I don't want anyone but you. All right, and we also have just be natural with me. All right, Pisces, so I feel like this is someone you already know. Um... You may not be dealing with this person as closely as you once were, but with this person, Pisces, and this connection, I feel like there's an energy of, like, heightened ego here, and of course, we all have our own egos, but sometimes when we let ego lead the way, we're blind to the things that really matter, the sentimental things, the natural things, the, the small things that make the biggest difference. So I feel like there was some sort of ego here blocking this person from loving straight from their heart, Pisces. They may have been thinking with their head as opposed to their heart, and sometimes some people do that, thinking with their head more or leading with their head. It's like they think calculatively or they think strategically. They play this like it's a game when it's not. Like love should be wholesome. It should be pure. It should be natural. So... I feel like this person, Pisces, they may have been entertaining other people. An energy that came out or a saying that came to me was like someone having or wanting their cake and eating it too, however that saying goes. But it's like they, they wanted you, Pisces. They expressed that to you. But meanwhile, they were still busy entertaining other people, wanting, wanting things on the side that maybe did not involve as, as much depth that you two had with one another but the fact being that you're including other people in your life and you're you're professing to me that you're taking me seriously that does not make sense or it does not add up here so if anything Pisces I feel like you have to retract your energy from this person because that's not what you're going to tolerate that extra message I did read out I love that you have a mind of your own you're a hidden treasure I feel like you know that for yourself Pisces you know how wholesome and loving your energy is how lovable you are and you deserve that ex that exact same devotion and attention that you you put outwardly come back to you so let's go ahead and get into these messages 
First, we have I'm the jealous type. You're exactly what I like. I feel like this is this person's energy, Pisces. They made it known that they wanted you and they wanted you by their side, even if they were not being the most loyal person here, even if they were dividing up their time with other people. It's like they tried to keep you close to them. And of course, only take what resonates, but another energy that is coming towards me is like manipulation here. Someone reassuring you for the moment, but moving forward long term, their reassurance does not really matter anymore because they're they're doing the exact opposite that they told you or at least their actions are showing that they're not 100 percent committed to this so i'm the jealous type you're exactly what i like i don't want anyone but you i also feel like this is this person's energy of course could be your energy as well pisces and this is why you were present and devoted to this person um also this person may have tried to hold you back because they didn't want you to go far off with without them knowing that you're attractive not only your looks Pisces but what you embody your energy so a lot of opportunities or abundance is coming towards you constantly so they may have tried to assert their control or sort authority over this and if that's the case that may have really stripped the fun out of things like love is not control like you we experience one another at the end of the day, but you you don't have any power over me or you don't own me. So we have, I don't want anyone but you. I feel like that could be a, a mutual energy here. We have just be natural with me. What you were asking for from this person, Pisces. I'm attracted to you for you, but once you start um, playing these like mind games or you try to sort assert your power or control over this or you show your true colors and your hidden intentions that's when that's when what i'm contributing into this goes out the window here because that it's like this person was showing you what love isn't for you pisces and also if this person wasn't really invested if there was something up with them and they were putting up a front Whatever the case may be, you may have expected honesty from this person. Let's just talk it out and go from there. So we have just be natural with me. We have wait. I feel like that's an overall message for this energy, divine timing coming in at play. And I feel like if this wasn't going the way that you wanted it to Pisces and you tried to fix it or repair it, but it still was going against you, you just took on that hands off approach you didn't over exhaust yourself and when something isn't giving you what you want at the moment in time and you have done everything that you can do sometimes we just have to let time or divine timing work its way through so we have this wait message i can't believe you were once mine i do anything to have you again this person's energy pisces and you may have gotten to this this energy Pisces or just this mindset or knowing that your love is too good you are too valuable you're lovable Pisces and anything that shows you hurt or negativity or maliciousness that's not what you want to be a part of and that that's a big thing Pisces to walk away from things that do not serve us because we're not acting out of scarcity or feeling like I'm only good enough for this one thing right now when, lo and behold, I don't even feel like my needs or my wants are met or I'm not being heard out here. And then we also have everything finally makes sense now. So this could be your energy, Pisces. This could also be this person's energy in the sense that um, they've had some time to reflect here and they know exactly what they could have done to make you feel reassured, put more effort into this have their consistency be on point but as far as your energy Pisces everything finally makes sense now you taking a step back and seeing this from a bigger per, or from a bigger view putting that missing puzzle piece in place here like knowing this person's true colors and there's no going back all right Pisces let's go ahead and receive the last few messages what else do we need to know please for my Pisces all right, we have that one message that we'll go over. 
All right, what else does Pisces need to know? Please, let's receive two more messages, please. One more message. All right, so we have our last few messages, Pisces. We have, I don't want to feel controlled. We also have, there's so much curiosity I have when it comes to you. My love for you is just getting started. And nostalgia is hard to face when it comes to you. All right, so nostalgia is hard to face when it comes to you. I feel like this is your energy, Pisces. You may still hold this person close to your heart, but at the same time, you know that it's good to keep your distance or love them from afar because welcome, welcoming them into your energy was not conducive. It was not beneficial for you. And you weren't looking for, you weren't looking to seek or you weren't seeking anything from this person besides their love, their authenticity, their sincerity. But I feel like they, they went against your belief or your idea of them, Pisces. So as much as you wanted this to work out, it didn't. And even when you think about this person, it's, it's hard to think about those moments in a happy memory, if that makes sense. So nostalgia is hard to face when it comes to you. I feel like you left this connection, Pisces, because I don't want to feel controlled. And this is even emotionally. If I'm expecting for you to come through, but you're failing me time and time again, then I'm not trying to be anxious over this or just expect things from you knowing that they're not about to arrive. So just not wanting any attachment to this person or wanting to form that codependency here and when a person stops you from doing what you have in mind for yourself without them, that may be that telltale sign that this is not good for me. So yeah, Pisces, I feel like you may resonate with that also if you were taking it upon yourself to be that, that person to blame for this connection. I feel like you, you reached this point where you, you were like, it's, it's not me, it's them. All right, we have my love for you is just getting started. So I feel like this is a mutual energy here, Pisces. I'll go ahead and describe it in both ways. For you, there was definitely more that was yet to come as far as loving this person and showing them what you wanted with them. As far as this person's energy, Pisces, I feel like they went back and forth on their word, expressing that there was still more to come from their part. This is just the beginning. I'm gonna give back to you soon, but it never came through or they never came through. And there's so much curiosity I have when it comes to you. So I, I feel like this is also mutual energy here, Pisces. For you, it's like you found this person intriguing, what they were interested in that differed from your interest. You, you did not hesitate to take it upon yourself to learn more about what they're into, who they are. Like being naturally curious, feeling fascinated about this person. And I feel like this person knew from the start, Pisces, that you were constantly elevating or doing more for yourself. Maybe you're somewhat adventurous or you like to learn about new things. You like to incorporate different things in your life. You don't like to stay in that same routine for yourself. So it's like thinking about you, Pisces, if you did cut them off and there's no communication, it's like, what is Pisces up to now? And I feel like this person tried to keep some sort of communication with you Pisces because they did not want to be shut out forever and once again if you resonate with that controlling factor or that manipulative energy that may have been part of their strategy Pisces of course only take what resonates for you let's see what longer message we do have for you Pisces we'll go ahead and shuffle three times and then we'll pick from the top let's see what we have going on for Pisces please one more shuffle, please. All right, let's see what we have. It's just been me and that's what I'm used to. I stick to what I know. Me ignoring you isn't personal. So of course, take this how it resonates for you and your connection. I do feel like this could be your energy, Pisces. Me ignoring you isn't personal. No hard feelings, I'm just protecting my energy. Like I'm not trying to be sucked in or wrapped around this connection when you've already showed me what you're willing to do and you've shown me your behaviors your patterns here one more message and it is you are so beautiful to me inside and out i am lucky to have found you i value the time you've given me even if it's not forever there's a chance that this person switched up 
in the beginning they captured your attention Pisces they maintained it but once they got comfortable that's when they stopped that reassurance and that consistency let's see what sign you may be dealing with Pisces first sign we have is Pisces could be dealing with another Piscean let's see what else we have we have Aquarius next sign is Capricorn one more sign please for my Pisces and that is Gemini all right, Pisces, so we have Gemini, Pisces, Capricorn, Aquarius. Of course, you could be dealing with any sign, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.